There are warning signs in women that can ruin your life. Don't be a naive fool who thinks he won't experience it. Be mindful that a woman's external allure and beauty may conceal negative characteristics that will come back to haunt you if you ignore them or allow your haughtiness to impair your judgment. Get ready as we are going to talk about the eight major warning signs that every man needs to be aware of. Stay tuned for the final one, as it may be the most significant. Number one, male friends. When a woman maintains close friendships with other men, or even if she has normal male friends in general, I suggest you run in the opposite direction. I'm aware that some people will call you insecure or jealous, but don't let them influence you. It is crucial to acknowledge that women, and some men who have forgotten what it means to be a man, do not fully understand the ramifications of this circumstance. In actuality, a large number of them either don't understand or choose to completely disregard the dynamics between men and women. It's really depressing. It would have been unheard of in any other era to let your partner get close to a group of men. Imagine leaving your wife alone with these so-called male friends who are desperate for an excuse to get into sexual relations and are full of fraud testosterone. Only in this day and age do people choose to minimize the importance of sexual tension and act as though men and women are not naturally sexually inclined. Let's avoid slipping into that snare. Consider this. What benefit does a man receive from having female friends? Actually, there aren't any. Well, so-called male friends only hang out with her in the hopes of grabbing any chance to have sex. When that opportunity arises, they show their true colors like ravenous hyenas. Conversely, having male friends offers women a lot of advantages. They can count on them for security, financial support, and repairs. Some women play a crafty game where they take advantage of these fictitious friendships and give nothing in return. The truth is that a sexual encounter is inevitable and her defenses will eventually give way. Don't be fooled by the attempts of the modern world to conflate gender roles. There is no denying the reality of the dynamics between men and women. Just notice how the whole atmosphere changes when a girl walks into a room full of gods. I would be interested in knowing what you think about this. Number two, sexual past. Pay close attention to this because it may be the most significant lesson in the video. A woman with many bodies is not desired by any man. The world of today, which is overflowing with feminized viewpoints, might try to paint you as insecure. However, regardless of how much they try to make you feel bad about it, every man secretly feels repulsed. Men need to actively increase their value, but women need to protect their inherent worth. It is true that any woman could have casual relationships with multiple partners, but that is not a commendable behavior. It actually negates her intrinsic value. Research has even demonstrated that a woman finds it more difficult to build meaningful emotional connections and meaningful relationships with men the more sexual partners she has. It appears as though their experiences have left them emotionally scarred. However, scientific research is not required to substantiate this assertion. Since the beginning of time, it has been deeply rooted in our collective understanding it's time to move on if a woman of this caliber exists. In the future, more videos on the subject will be produced. To ensure you don't miss them, be sure to subscribe. Number three, daddy issues. Let's talk about something we've all seen, girls who have problems with their dads. This is not a sight to be hopeful about. When a girl doesn't have a strong masculine father figure in her life, she looks to other men to fill the void. The issue is that she has no idea what true masculine love is like. She consequently attracts the attention of disrespectful men, and regrettably, she has little regard for herself. Now, some girls may indeed have self-respect. They just haven't fallen into this pattern with other gods. Still, there's a warning sign. They were never taught to honor and admire a strong masculine figure, so they haven't seen firsthand how their mother respected her father. They won't even know how to properly respect you as a result. Though there are occasionally exceptions, it's usually a good idea to look for a girl who has a close positive relationship with her father and who genuinely looks up to him. Please share any experiences you may have had with this in the comments section. Number four, promiscuous friends. Keep in mind that your illusions are not real. She might not have the charming innocence you imagine. Women are no different from the rest of us. We are products of the company we keep. Examine her social circle carefully. In the event that they are all involved in promiscuous behavior, then please leave her alone as she is also one of them. You could emphasize how important it is to break off contact with that girl and consider giving her another chance, even if it's just with one friend. 
but remember that this is a red flag and keep an eye out for similar patterns. Now take it as a serious warning sign if she hangs out with a lot of promiscuous friends. Her friend's influence should never be undervalued. Number five, mockery. Many men don't take the impact of women making fun of them seriously enough. Pay close attention to this. It will happen more often the more disrespect you put up with. She is clearly disrespecting you if she dares to downplay your ambitions. You have to make sure it doesn't occur again. This also holds true when she yells indignation or raises her voice even a little. These might not seem like much, but they indicate a serious concern. In the long run, it will cost you a ridiculous amount of brain damage if you don't tackle it head on right away. Number six, center of attention. A woman who wants to be the center of attention and always in the spotlight is the biggest turnoff for men. It's not just that she's trying to get attention when she talks over you all the time or tries to make herself heard over you. She's also trying to make you look less manly. It isn't authentic femininity. A truly feminine woman is adept at taking the lead without overpowering the conversation or being overly chatty. She also knows how to be submissive. Number seven, fangirl. I'm going to talk about the biggest red flag here, so listen carefully. Imagine your girl going completely crazy at a concert, wanting to touch the musician's shoes or cover every available space with his pictures. Similar to the other warning indicators we've covered, 99% of men experience uneasiness when they see this one. And there's merit to that feeling. You know deep down that it's not normal for her to look up to another man in that way. You have two options. Either ignore it and decide it's not important, or allow the feminism ideology to affect you. I'm going to tell you something that will make you feel bad. In actuality, those men are better than you. She would quickly leave you in order to have their children, if given the chance. Give that some thought for a moment. Without hesitation, she would run towards them in order to snap a picture. You, my brother, are insane if that doesn't indicate that she thinks they're better than you and you don't see this as a warning sign. In conclusion, it's essential for every man to recognize these red flags and heed them as warnings. While no relationship is without its challenges, being aware of these warning signs can help you navigate the treacherous waters of modern dating with greater clarity and confidence. Remember, your well-being and happiness are paramount, and it's far better to walk away from a potentially toxic situation than to suffer the consequences of ignoring the signs. Stay vigilant, trust your instincts, and prioritize your own self-respect above all else. Only then can you truly build a healthy, fulfilling relationship based on mutual respect and genuine connection. Feel free to like and subscribe so you won't miss any videos in the future. In a world overshadowed by negativity and toxicity, a beacon of ancient wisdom emerges. Join us on this transformative journey where Stoicism guides you through an enigmatic landscape, offering profound strategies to rise above pervasive toxicity, from crafting an impenetrable shield against pessimism to embracing empathy's echoes. Let these timeless teachings be your compass through life's labyrinth of toxic encounters. Embark on this odyssey where ancient wisdom meets contemporary resilience, unraveling the secrets of Stoic strategies to navigate shadows and emerge into the light of self-mastery. The echoes of the past guide us toward a future where toxicity holds no dominion. Prepare to rise above. 1. The Stoic Armor in the tumultuous landscape of life where negativity can manifest in various forms, cultivating an impenetrable stoic armor becomes paramount. Picture this armor as a formidable shield forged from the ancient philosophy of stoicism, a philosophical school that encourages resilience in the face of adversity. As you embark on the journey of self-protection, visualize the stoic armor, a symbol of your unwavering commitment to shield yourself from the relentless arrows of pessimism. Stoicism, originating from the teachings of ancient philosophers like Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus, provides a timeless guide to facing life's challenges with equanimity. Imagine this armor as not merely physical, but a mental and emotional shield, resilient to the corrosive impact of toxic influences. In the forge of Stoicism, you temper your mind, cultivating a robust defense against the negativity that seeks to permeate your existence. Envision the Stoic armor as a shield adorned with the wisdom of acceptance, enabling you to distinguish between what you can control and what lies beyond your influence. The Stoics believed in facing adversity with courage and maintaining inner peace amidst external chaos. 
Your stoic armor, much like theirs, becomes a manifestation of this belief, a steadfast protector in the face of life's storms. As you traverse the intricate paths of existence, your stoic armor serves as a constant companion, a symbol of your commitment to inner strength. Embrace the teachings of stoicism, internalizing the resilience it imparts. Picture your stoic armor as a shield that deflects negativity, allowing you to navigate life with a sense of purpose and unyielding determination. 2. Amor Fati. Love your fate in the labyrinth of life, where challenges often test the mettle of our existence. The Stoic philosophy offers a profound concept, Amor Fati, the love for one's fate. This powerful principle encourages not just acceptance, but a wholehearted embrace of adversity, transforming it into a catalyst for personal growth. Amidst adversity, envision yourself cultivating a mindset that goes beyond mere tolerance. Embrace Amor Fati as a guiding force, urging you to love your fate, regardless of its challenges. Picture each obstacle as an opportunity for growth, a stepping stone on the path to becoming the best version of yourself. Adopting the stoic mindset of Amor Fati allows you to render toxic elements powerless against your spirit. Rather than succumbing to the corrosive effects of negativity, you use adversity as a crucible for self-improvement. In the embrace of Amor Fati, you find purpose even in the midst of adversity, shifting your perspective from victimhood to empowerment. Visualize a garden of resilience within your soul, where the seeds of challenges blossom into the flowers of wisdom and strength. In the philosophy of Amor Fati, you become the gardener of your destiny, tending to the soil of your experiences with love and acceptance. The stoic understanding of fate becomes a transformative force, turning each trial into a testament to your inner fortitude. As you navigate the complex terrain of life, let Amor Fati be your compass, guiding you through the storms with an unwavering sense of purpose, embracing your fate, both the joys and tribulations. 3. Echo of Empathy in the face of toxicity, the stoic strategy of echo of empathy emerges as a profound means of confrontation. Instead of meeting negativity with resistance, visualize yourself embracing empathy as a powerful tool. Picture toxic individuals as echoes of your own experiences, their pain reverberating within the chambers of your understanding. Confronting toxicity with empathy transforms the battleground into a space for silent contemplation. Imagine their struggles and challenges echoing as reflections of your own journey. This mental exercise not only fosters a connection but becomes a catalyst for change. Understanding the origins of negativity becomes a silent force, urging you to navigate the tumultuous waters of toxic relationships with compassion and insight. As you stand amidst the echoes of their pain, envision a transformation occurring within both yourself and the toxic individual. This empathetic approach becomes a bridge, connecting hearts that were once divided. In the realm of Echo of Empathy, toxicity loses its power as you choose understanding over confrontation, forging a path towards healing and mutual growth. 4. Inner Citadel of Calmness Amidst the storms of toxicity, cultivate an inner citadel, an imperturbable fortress of calmness within your being. Let the teachings of Stoicism be your guiding light, leading you to this sanctuary when toxicity strikes. Picture this inner citadel as a refuge, a tranquil haven where their storms cannot breach the walls of your serenity. In the chaos of life, the Stoic philosophy teaches the art of finding peace within oneself. Imagine building the walls of your inner citadel with the bricks of resilience and acceptance. As toxicity rages outside, let the tranquility within your citadel remain unshaken. Stoicism becomes your blueprint for constructing a fortress that shields you from the corrosive effects of negativity. Visualize retreating to your inner citadel in times of turmoil, where the tumultuous winds of toxicity cannot disturb your inner calmness. In this sanctuary, Stoic principles become the pillars supporting your emotional and mental well-being. As you picture yourself standing within the citadel, impervious to external storms, feel the strength and peace that come from embracing the Stoic practice of cultivating an inner sanctuary. The inner citadel of calmness becomes not just a refuge but a source of empowerment, allowing you to navigate through life's challenges with poise and unwavering tranquility. Five. 
Virtue as a shield. Picture yourself enveloped in a shield of virtue, a formidable armor crafted from the ethical principles espoused by Stoicism. In the face of toxicity, let these principles be your guide, creating a protective barrier against negativity. Visualize your moral strength as an impenetrable shield, upholding integrity and virtue as your armor. As you navigate through the challenges of life, imagine the shield of virtue deflecting the arrows of toxicity with grace and dignity. Upholding ethical principles becomes more than a choice. It transforms into a powerful shield, preserving your inner sanctity amidst external chaos. Envision every act of kindness, honesty, and moral fortitude reinforcing this shield, creating a protective barrier that allows you to confront toxicity with unwavering grace. 6. The Art of Detachment Mastering the art of detachment becomes a crucial stoic strategy in navigating the complexities of life. Picture yourself guided by the wisdom of stoicism, recognizing what is within your control and what lies beyond. In the theater of existence, stoicism teaches us to release the need to control external circumstances, freeing ourselves from the toxic grip of situations that surpass our influence. Imagine the liberation that comes from letting go, as if detaching from the weight of the world. Visualize the toxic elements losing their hold as you focus on the internal realm, where your thoughts and actions reside. The art of detachment becomes a transformative force, allowing you to maintain a sense of peace even in the midst of chaos. As you practice the art of detachment, envision toxic situations losing their power over your emotions. Picture yourself navigating through life's challenges with a newfound clarity and resilience. In the serenity of detachment, the toxic grip loosens and you emerge unscathed, guided by the stoic understanding that true power lies in mastering your reactions rather than controlling external circumstances. 7. Mindful Responses, Not Reactions in the arena of dealing with toxic people, the stoic strategy of practicing mindful responses takes center stage. Picture yourself navigating through the tumultuous waters of toxicity with a deliberate and intentional approach. Stoicism emphasizes the crucial importance of thoughtful reflection before responding to toxic behavior, offering a shield against impulsive reactions. Envision the power that comes from cultivating a measured response, like a skilled archer carefully aiming at a target. Picture the moments of pause and reflection as you gain control over your reactions. In the realm of mindful responses, toxicity loses its grip on your behavior. Visualize a shield of serenity, where your intentional actions dictate the narrative, ensuring that external toxicity does not dictate your internal equilibrium. 8. Transmute negativity into growth. Channeling the energy of negativity into personal growth becomes a transformative stoic practice. Picture yourself as an alchemist, turning the lead of toxic experiences into the gold of personal evolution. Stoicism encourages you to view challenges not as obstacles but as opportunities for development. Envision the process of transmutation, where the toxicity that once weighed heavy on your shoulders becomes the catalyst for profound growth. Picture the lessons learned from each toxic encounter as stepping stones on the path to becoming the best version of yourself. As you transmute negativity into growth, visualize a garden of resilience within, where the fertilizer of challenges nourishes the blossoming flowers of wisdom and strength. 9. Embrace impermanence. In the face of toxicity, embrace the stoic principle of impermanence. Visualize the ephemerality of all things, including toxic situations and people. Stoicism reminds us that nothing is everlasting, offering a powerful perspective that empowers you to weather storms of toxicity with a profound understanding that, like all things, this too shall pass. Picture yourself standing resilient amidst the storm, understanding that the winds of toxicity are temporary. In the face of impermanence, envision yourself anchored in a deep sense of inner peace. The realization that toxic situations and people are fleeting becomes your compass, guiding you through the challenges with the knowledge that, ultimately, they are transient. In this understanding, toxicity loses its power to inflict lasting harm, and you emerge from the storms of life with grace and resilience. As we wrap up this exploration into Stoic wisdom, may these strategies resonate with you in facing life's challenges. Carry the strength of the Stoics with you, rising above toxicity with resilience and serenity. 
If you found value in this journey, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you ensure that the echoes of wisdom continue to reach others. Together, let's build a community thriving on resilience and ancient philosophy in the modern world. Thank you for joining us on this empowering journey. Like, subscribe, and let's embrace the path ahead. Do you want to know why chasing women never works and how no matter how hard you try, you always end up pushing her away? The days of a man displaying true love and relentlessly pursuing a woman in order to reclaim her love are over. Now, revealing your true intentions will only make you look weird. Even so, many high-value men can easily find high-quality girls and live a happy life. So, what do they do? It's almost as if they wave their wands and the chicks flock to them like ants to honey. Don't worry, we'll solve the mystery for you. By the end of this video, you will become a saint at getting women to chase you. We will give you the power to attract any woman you find attractive. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right into it. Number one, embrace and showcase your values. In the current landscape, we witness a widespread emergence of what can be deemed a pandemic of weak men. These individuals, often perceived as puny, lack the self-respect inherent in embracing their masculinity and living with a clear sense of purpose. While the knowledge of how to improve oneself is commonplace among men, the number who actively take steps towards positive change remains limited. A prevailing trend is evident in modern society where individuals opt for the regret that arises from inaction rather than embracing the discipline required for meaningful transformation. However, I propose a shift in perspective. Envision it as a battle with you against the world. It necessitates cultivating the discipline to confront the challenges the world throws at you, even on your worst days. When individuals resort to acts of desperation, they inadvertently diminish their intrinsic value. The question then arises, if you fail to assign a higher value to yourself, why would anyone else recognize your worth? Consider the perspective of a woman. Why would she desire a connection with someone who harbors insecurities about themselves? Even if by chance you manage to establish a connection, it is unlikely to be enduring. The key lies in redirecting your focus towards personal development. By diligently working on yourself and achieving your goals, attracting women becomes a natural byproduct. Hence, the advice is clear. Be a man of substance, one who pursues his dreams ardently rather than engaging in a futile pursuit of women. Identify your strengths and dedicate yourself to them with unparalleled vigor. Remember, greatness awaits on the other side of hardship, and the only requirement is the cultivation of the right mindset to embark on the transformative journey. Number two, refrain from the chase. The inclination to incessantly pursue and chase after women is a detrimental trait observed in a considerable number of individuals, particularly those who may be perceived as lacking in self-confidence. When one adopts the practice of relentlessly pursuing someone, the consequence is a gradual erosion of personal worth. This phenomenon can be attributed to the psychological concept of an abundance mindset ingrained in human nature. Our intrinsic tendency to pursue what we don't possess often results in the devaluation of the pursued object once attained. Consequently, the act of ceaselessly chasing after women significantly increases the likelihood of facing rejection. The underlying issue in this pursuit is the continuous dispensing of attention. Intentionally attempting to win someone over through persistent efforts can have detrimental effects on one's self-respect and overall self-worth. A man devoid of a strong sense of self-worth finds himself in a perpetual state of pursuit akin to a dog endlessly chasing a car. However, the outcome remains elusive, as the pursued woman, regardless of circumstances, remains steadfast in preventing the encroachment into her personal space. The remedy to this predicament lies in breaking away from the constant pursuit and instead engaging in solo endeavors. Remarkably, distancing oneself from constant presence tends to amplify desirability, fostering a sense of intrigue and allure that captivates the object of interest. Number three, spawn happiness. Upon observing individuals commonly identified as alphas in the social milieu, a distinctive trait emerges, the ability to generate and radiate happiness. A prevalent pitfall for some lies in attributing their happiness exclusively to a romantic interest, thereby relinquishing control over their emotional well-being. 
This emotional dependency inhibits the capacity to experience joy and contentment independently. Contrary to the belief that acquiring the affection of a particular individual is the sole pathway to happiness, it is imperative to acknowledge that happiness can be discovered in diverse realms. One not only can, but should cultivate happiness in various facets of life. In instances where this seems elusive, the responsibility falls upon the individual to proactively create their own joy. This particular quality serves as a distinctive marker, setting individuals apart from the general populace. The allure of a person who exudes joy and contentment in their life is magnetic. Steering clear of the narrative of attempting to fill a perceived void in one's existence, this approach beckons interest and participation from others. By demonstrating a capacity for personal fulfillment and enjoyment, the dynamic shifts, making the individual an inviting force that beckons others to join in and relish the journey of life together. Number 4. Be a Monster Embarking on a journey to cultivate an authentic sense of power is a pivotal step in navigating the complex realm of human interaction. The notion of being a monster is presented not in the literal sense, but as a metaphorical representation of the strength and assertiveness often associated with alpha individuals. In contemporary discourse, the prevailing advice suggests adopting a harmless demeanor, sheathing one's competitive instinct, and avoiding excessive aggression. However, this narrative falls short of capturing the essence of true strength. Contrary to popular belief, embracing a certain level of ferocity and learning to channel it effectively is essential. To be truly attractive, one must transcend the passivity associated with harmlessness. Picture the contrast between a defenseless rabbit and a composed, formidable lion. The latter, despite its potential for havoc, exudes a captivating calmness. Walk and talk with an air of self-sufficiency, conveying that you require no external validation. This deliberate development of a powerful aura is what draws women in. It's important to recognize that a reluctance to exhibit any form of cruelty renders one susceptible to victimization. Hence, the key lies in cultivating an authentic power that commands respect and fascination. Number 5. The Power of Smart Compliments in the realm of romantic interactions, the power of compliments cannot be understated. However, mastering the art of offering compliments involves a delicate balance to avoid coming across as insincere or excessively eager. While women appreciate genuine admiration, an overabundance of compliments may dilute their impact. The art lies in navigating this fine line with finesse. Smart compliments transcend the superficial by delving into the profound layers of a woman's personality. Rather than fixating solely on physical attributes where compliments may abound, the pathway to differentiation involves acknowledging and appreciating qualities such as determination, humor, or overall vibe. This approach not only showcases a keen understanding of the individual, but also establishes a connection that goes beyond surface-level appreciation. Subtlety is key. Seamlessly drop these compliments into conversations, creating an impact without overwhelming the interaction. By eliciting thoughtful reflection, these smart compliments sow the seeds of affection, prompting the woman to view you through a lens that goes beyond the superficial. Mastering the art of smart compliments is not just about flattery, but about forging genuine connections in a landscape saturated with predictable interactions. It becomes a tool to stand out, creating a memorable impression rooted in authenticity and understanding. Number six, play with psychology. Delving into the realm of psychological dynamics in the pursuit of romantic interest unveils a nuanced landscape that defies simplistic approaches. Dismissing the misguided notion that ignoring all women like a psychopath will magically enamor them dispels a fallacy that, if true, would have every introvert and shy individual effortlessly surrounded by admirers. The annals of history reveal that individuals have employed a myriad of strategies to captivate women, ranging from flaunting physical attributes to leveraging clever psychological maneuvers. The question arises, how can one prompt a shift in the dynamic, making the woman pursue instead of being pursued? The answer lies in the arsenal of psychological tricks at one's disposal. Rather than resorting to desperate efforts, the key is to employ subtle tactics that capture attention without overt signaling intent. Embedding honest facts into conversations becomes a powerful tool, shaping a reputation as a forthright individual in the minds of others. This approach subtly lowers their guard, 
paving the way for a genuine connection to flourish beneath the surface. Number seven, be aware. In a contemporary landscape flooded with purported shortcuts and generic advice, it becomes imperative to tread cautiously. The allure of cheap tricks promising monumental results can ensnare individuals desperate for change. A discerning approach is crucial, recognizing that not all advice fits every scenario like a one-size-fits-all solution. The cautionary tale unfolds when individuals blindly apply advice, losing control of their lives, and spiraling into a cycle of negativity. The call to awareness is paramount. Recognize that the market is saturated with individuals selling seemingly miraculous solutions at exorbitant prices. These purported panaceas, when blindly adhered to, can lead to disillusionment and depression. Therefore, the guidance is to listen to one's heart, proceeding with logical discernment. No one, not even those offering advice, can dictate the exact actions suitable for every unique individual. Acknowledge the diversity inherent in humanity. Distinct thoughts, varying levels of athleticism. Rendering a one-size-fits-all approach obsolete. Resist oversimplification, recognizing that each person's journey is intricate and demands a personalized, logical response for genuine and sustainable transformation. Number eight, there are plenty of fish in the sea. It may seem harsh, but it's something every single person out there needs to realize. To win women, the girl you think is so special is not special at all. It's all about perspective. When you think about a woman in particular, you inevitably give her control over your heart and emotions. It is a problem that needs to be solved aggressively. Guys think she is the only girl that will ever be made for them, and they live in this delusion constantly. It causes them to fall into a pit of incel mentality, and nothing good comes out of it. Not only are they unable to progress in life, they are also unable to function as normal human beings because it is an essential human requirement to feel an intimate touch from the opposite gender. If you look at the bigger picture, 50% of all people are women. So do you think that one girl is exceptional in this world? If you seriously can't answer this question, she is not unique. No girl is special enough for you to lose your worth and self-respect over her. Number 9. Be neutral. Whenever you are interested in a girl, you will see only the good things about her. That is how infatuation works. It removes the bad aspects of that person and makes you look only at the good details. It is very damaging down the line. Remember that your aim should not only be to obtain girls, but also to retain them. You can only do that by ensuring you are compatible with that person. If you are only walking the road with your heart in your hand and completely blocking out all the signals your logical mind throws at you, there is an excellent chance that you will end up in a place where there is no coming out. So instead of daydreaming about her in dreams, be neutral and use your mind to evaluate the possibility of an actual human connection. It may be uncomfortable to accept minus points at first, but in the long run, it'll be healthy. Always strive to be the best possible version of yourself. You must strive for perfection in your life every day, understand the human mind, and learn some simple tricks to help you break down the barriers people put up around themselves, allowing you access. A person should always think with his mind, not his heart. It will generate more questions than answers, leading you astray. Block out any cheap advice you receive from others for the sake of money. They're simply taking advantage of your desperate situation. Finally, distinguish between being harmless and truly virtuous. A shadow in your personality will set you apart from the naive masses. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.